You know, guys, sometimes a book gift is just so amazing. You can't wait for the book haul to talk about it. And I'm happy to say, guys, that one of those shards cracked off and flew my way. Hey, what's up, bookworms and Knights Radiant? Mike back today to talk a little Lord Ruler Brandon Sanderson and some mighty, mighty book mail that I did receive. Now, guys, I talked recently about how I did not back Brandon Sanderson's Kickstarter. It wasn't because of anything personal. I just said, you know what? I think Brandon Sanderson's got enough support. I'm going to throw my support behind uh, the Sword of Kaigen because I just felt, you know, let me help a smaller creator uh, reach her Kickstarter goals. And honestly, guys, my budget, I was only able to get to one Kickstarter at the time. So it's really funny to me that everybody's been like, oh, so you didn't get the uh, the Kickstarter gifts from Brandon Sanderson. I said, no, I bought the Tress of the Emerald Sea on Kindle, and I'm going to read that eventually. So it amazed me when I went to my P.O. box the other day and I had this giant box from Dragon Steel Entertainment, which is Brandon Sanderson's publishing house, if you don't know. And I was like, I haven't ordered anything from them. I have no idea what this could be because like I have all the hardcover signed and all that stuff that I that I will I mean I would like to have those uh <laughs> those leather bound mistborns but those are just quite quite a pretty penny so uh if you're wondering why I got this rope around my neck well I, I gotta tell you I opened this box and I was completely blown away by what I found inside I opened that box and it had another box within the box it had this box in it and I was like what in the hell is going on I thought someone actually spent too much money and bought me those uh, Stormlight Archive uh, leather-bound editions or something. That's the only thing I could come up with. And when I opened this box, I was just kind of really blown away by what I found inside. And it had no notes or anything like that. So I am just to assume that this came either from, I mean, I doubt that Brandon Sanderson said, hmm, yeah, I want to send one to this person, this person, this person. I mean, I'd like to pretend that's the case. But I am pretty sure that you know I've just been mentioned by some people as maybe maybe this might be one of the influencers that'd be good to talk about this. Look, I don't know, I don't care. I don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm always going to take what comes my way, especially when it's something as amazing as this. So it had the it had this rope on it, and I couldn't figure out how to get back on here. And if, if I did, I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to get it back off. But uh, this this lid is not. It's just it's it's just flush. It doesn't lock in or anything, so it had to be locked down like that. But first. Let me talk about this box here. This is, I, I don't know if it's handcrafted, probably a machine could probably do it, but it feels handcrafted, guys. This is incredible. I don't know if you can see the detail on this. It is just stunning. This is all real oak. This is beautiful, guys. This is incredible, incredible stuff. And then, of course, we got to talk about what is inside. I was pretty sure once I looked at the front of that box, this might be the St. Sanderson Kickstarter that I sadly did not donate to. So, of course, it did have Trust of the Emerald Sea right in the front of it. I'll go ahead and open it on camera with you guys here. Like I said, I already bought this on the Kindle. And I want to say up front, guys, this is definitely not a humble brag because I know there's lots of people who are still waiting for theirs and haven't gotten theirs yet. It's not that. I just wanted to basically use this video to say thank you to Brandon Sanderson, uh, to Dragon Steel Books, all those people who were involved with getting me this because, guys, this is an incredible, incredible gift that I can't say thank you enough for. And I want to be able to go ahead and show this. But, yeah, uh, it's, it's awesome, guys. Uh, I haven't even looked at the illustrations inside yet. Like I said, I just took the plastic off. But, yeah, I mean, it's... If you've seen the work that they've done before with their leather-bound editions, I think you pretty much know what to expect here. I know lots of people have gotten their have gotten their illustrated edition, but uh, yeah, that's that's something. And the question I got a lot is, well, does that mean that you're going to be reading this? Well, look, people ask me after I talked about the Kindle one, uh, do you have it on your schedule? And I was like, no, but it'll happen sometime, you know, the spring or early summer. I'll get to it after this. I think it would be rude not to read it. So uh, I've got this on deck. I, I've already planned to read this, the new uh, Richard Swan book, and I'm going to read that first. And then guys, yes, I'll be reading this immediately afterward. Now guys, I love the Cosmere. Uh, it's no big secret that I was lukewarm on Rhythm of War, but that didn't put a permanent damage in the armor. You know, the shard plate isn't permanently damaged. I, I'm not like, I don't want to keep going with that universe, obviously. Mistborn Era 2 was it's okay for me. And I said I would get to the last book in that series. I did buy it. It's on my shelf up there. I just said I'll get to it when I get to it. But with this, guys, it's a Cosmere book. I'm going to be reading this 
immediately. So there are some other things in here. You got a nice note. It says, Dear Sprouters, get ready for an epic adventure with Brandon Sanderson's latest release, Tress of the Emerald Sea. Unlock a world of immersive storytelling through the included premium hardcover, audiobook on Spotify, or ebook, and start your reading journey today. Happy reading. Let's see that. It's on this really cool, like, papyrus. I guess is that what you call it? Papyrus? Papyrus? Yeah. Anyway, so yes, it did have a Kindle Fire in there. <laughs> and this is crazy, guys. And it, uh, apparently, it does have the ebook and the audiobook preload on here. And he even sent headphones for you to listen to it on. This, <laughs> this is ridiculous, isn't it? And there's one more nice thing in here. Now, I don't know. I assume that this has something to do with what happens in the book. But this seems handcrafted, some kind of cup, some kind of ceramic. I have no idea. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I opened the front cover and it did, I did see some mugs on the, on the painting on there. So I don't know if this has something to do with it. But yes, this is awesome, guys. This is going up there on my Sanderson shelf with everything else. It did come with all this straw stuff, you know. But let me show you the rest of the box. It's going to be messy, guys, because I'm going to have to vacuum in here after this. But yes, uh... Nothing inside the box uh, outside of, you know, the awesome stuff I just showed you. But no car rings or anything like that. I do, like I said, I do wish it had, like, nice little ridges so this kind of lid would kind of close on it. But again, uh, I I'm fine with it not doing that. But, guys, this is just, like I said, this is just incredible. I don't really know what else to say. Uh, I definitely want to make sure that uh, I I'm paying it forward on things like these and putting the good word out there for all the people that did contribute to this Kickstarter. I, I guess I got to thank you because without all that stuff, all that kindness that you showed donating to that Kickstarter, I'm pretty sure influencers like myself wouldn't have got gifted amazing, amazing things like this. So again, it was never a, uh, I didn't back the Kickstarter because I don't believe in Brandon Sanderson. Guys, I still think he's the best in the business right now. There's not a hotter author out there. I don't call any other author the Lord Ruler, for God's sakes. So uh, yeah, while I was you know wasn't anxious to finish Mistborn Era Two and I was lukewarm Rhythm War, doesn't mean I love the Cosmere any less, guys. Stormlight Archive is still one of my favorite fantasy series of all time, and I'm looking forward to getting back into a little bit of world hopping because I hear there is a certain little let's just say overseer of the Cosmere that is the storyteller in Trust in the Emerald Sea, and that sounds very very exciting to me. So all you people that are still waiting to get yours, I, I do hope it arrives soon. More and more people on my Discord every single day are saying that it has shown up for them. And they're showing they get uh, really awesome bookmarks. I didn't get the awesome bookmarks, so you guys are still ahead of me there. But uh, I, again, I, I, I don't know what else to say, except I'm incredibly humbled. I don't think that Brandon Sanderson, like I said, individually picked me out as one of the people. This is just really surprising to me, guys, because I've never even gotten approved for Brandon Sanderson arc before. Uh, and I don't know. I know that Dragonsteel and Tor are two very different animals. But uh, I'm just I'm hoping that this means that I'm on some kind of radar now and I can be a, a bigger part of the review process when new Brandon Sanderson material comes out because I would love to uh, donate my services for that certain certain purpose there. So guys, uh, I, again, have you got yours yet? I'd love to hear you tell me what you think about it. Lots of people have told me they think that this is one of the best Cosmere stories in a while and that has me very, very excited to dive in. So like I said, Tyranny of Faith, that probably won't take me but two or three days to read if it reads anything like the first book in Richard Swan series and then guys, it'll be on to this and I cannot wait to read from this beautiful beautiful edition again thank you to brandon sanderson thank you to dragon steel you guys are amazing continue to keep up the amazing amazing work and thank you to everyone who donated to the kickstarter and gave people like me an opportunity to get something that's just so magical i really don't know what else to say so uh drop in the comments guys let me know what you think about all this stuff and uh and let me know what you think about the book and uh if, if you're happy i'm gonna read it because i am going to be reading it i was gonna read it anyways but i am moving it up the list right now it's going to be on deck right now and i can't wait to do it so i uh, drop in the comments guys and i will talk to you there